Addiction is like a prison, right? A mental prison. And you don't see any way out, you know? You want out, but you don't see how to get out. For two decades, Timothy Gulick struggled with an addiction to crystal meth. What he feared most, being arrested, ended up saving him almost eight years ago. You have all these ideas of how the, the cops are going to treat you. And, uh, and I looked out the window and there was a guy who was, you know, standing next to the car who was an agent. And uh, he, I made eye contact with him and he smiled at me. And I was like, wow, maybe it's not going to be so bad after all. And that was like my first little hint of maybe, maybe this is a good thing, you know, and um, that's what started my journey. Giving people a path to recovery instead of just being arrested is the idea behind the program Operation Helping Hand, which Attorney General Gabir Graywell started while he was prosecutor in Bergen County. It now operates in some form in all parts of the state. Today, Union County expanded Helping Hand to operate year-round instead of just one week. Enforcement is still part of what we do, and we're, but we're being smarter. We're using our tools now to go after those heroin mills. Every time a member of the law enforcement community of Union County arrests an individual for a <coughs> possessory level opioid offense, the officer will offer that individual an opportunity to get help. If that person accepts help, a peer recovery counselor from the Substance Misuse Prevention Agency, Prevention Links, will come to the police station to help with recovery. One of those counselors from Prevention Links is Timothy Gulick. A lot of the participants when I was doing OHH last year were so grateful to be meeting with us, you know, crying, tears, and, and, uh, and like we got to be that hope for them. Last year in one week alone, 148 people had access to a specialist at Prevention Links. 88% said yes to rehabilitation assistance. Just seeing the impact we were able to have in a one week period to think that we could have that type of impact every day is just amazing. It was also a good experience for the police involved too. I think they got to see the softer side of things and uh, I think it gave everybody hope, all of us. We asked Gulick if that officer who gave him a glimpse of hope years ago had offered him the opportunity to go into recovery, what would that have meant to him? It would have meant everything. It would have meant, as he puts it, a way out. In Elizabeth, I'm Leah Mishkin for NJTV News.